All right, guys, so I'm gonna get out of the way. I'm in everybody's way over here. That was a heck of a sale. The whole back of the car is full. How you doing, bud? Do what I was do. Okay. Uh -oh. Are you starting now no, or? Not yet. Are not yet? General like public? Yes. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Give us an hour at least 10 minutes. <laughs> yeah. 10 minutes. Some of us just kind of. 10 minutes later. Individual people out here. Okay. 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 So that would be if you buy from anybody. In here, this is the churchyard sale. Okay. Um, and the stuff outside is also the churchyard sale. Okay. So you pay for that here, and this is all donation. Okay, okay. thank you. Yeah. Oh, okay. Okay. Tar. There we go. It's cleaned up. Bad shape. Here's the, I don't have any names, but it's the same. I think my son's got enough guitars. This is cool. Tacoma. You still doing the eBay area? Yes, sir. How about you? Just, just kind of a lot of my stuff now, but things I collect. This lot, all I collect little cars now for my grandson. I oh, okay, that's cool. Yeah, I play with this in my H.O. train yet. <laughs> like '60s. I'm gonna go ahead and grab it. There you go, Star Wars pinata. Something for that. I'll make a nice donation. That's cool. That's different. Yeah, there's lots of cool stuff. It's like, definitely some people don't see it, you know? Right. I see it, what other people don't see, you know? Like, is that jacket for sale? <laughs> it's hot. That's cool. Made in Hungary. This is neat too. Under one or more of the following patents. Cool. It's a little clock. Interesting. Mr. and Mrs. Claus. Oh, she's a wink. She's a wink doll too, huh? That's cool. Wonder if they work. So I'm gonna set Santa's favorite folks. Santa's favorite folks. Yeah, I'll probably get a hundred for them. So 
He's in pretty good shape, so. Alright, sculpture. Alright. Excuse me. Lights. An old train set. Somebody painted on the other side of that. <laughs> wow. How, un how unfortunate. They painted on the other side of this. Somebody might still want this because of the advertisement, though. Doug Young has the actual glass one. Did he tell you? I saw it yesterday. Oh, did you? Yeah. The, the, oh, that one? There was one here. Oh, Marshall has. Marshall's oh, he has one exactly like that. Yeah. That his grandmother. I'm thinking had. that someone would probably still want this because of the not worried about what's on the other yeah, side. Yeah, exactly. They still want it for just for the, for the um, you know, the detail or whatever the, the scenery. There's a paint. Sun catchers, Christmas. These are cool. On the tray. Tray. Activity set. Boom. Pass on that. Oh. -hoo. Full bottle of Chloe. Wow. Oh, that's Chloe and the knees. I want Bob Knob. Excuse me. Whoops, almost dropped it. There it is. I found one of the cups though. What? One of the Star Wars cups. I found one of the cups. Well, there's more of those. I got the, all of the pieces, but I don't have the cups. Oh, yeah, there's okay, they put them back on that table. Yeah, I don't have the cups. There they are. I'll have to clean them. Excuse me. I have all the and pieces. A, oh, man, I have all of them. Already got the I have them. Did you? Yeah. What is that? Oh, that's then it looks like a lot. Pain oil, counter irritant, muscular aches, and it's sealed. It's brand new. <laughs> yeah, we had that probably. Oh, because they could have used that. The last very Yeah. <laughs> could be. Hello. These are nice. Is there more in here? Yeah. How much are they? They're donation. Oh, okay. 
think these are the same. Yeah, these are the same thing. These are Brooks Brothers, too. Yeah. There we go, guys. Brooks Brothers. Gentry, I'll pass on those. And did you need any shirts? There's shirts over here, too. Absolutely. I'll take a look at them. All right, guys. So I'm going to get out of the way. I'm in everybody's way over here. That was a heck of a sale. The whole back of the car is full. Um, I donated $100 to the church. Sorry about the light. Um, I really, I'm just going to have to go through it. Um, we're just going to have to do a haul video because there's no other way. I got a unicycle. I mean, it was just, it was a ridiculous sale. Like, it was absolutely ridiculous. All right, guys. So we're back at the shop. I did hit one more yard sale up after that, which I had planned on in the first place. I did not plan on being at the church sale for two and a half hours. I knew I was going to be there for a while, but it was definitely worth it. All right, guys, I'm going to try to be as quick as possible. I got the whole table lined up. I'm not going to get into complete detail with every item. I'm just going to show you guys um, the things I picked up and the reason why I picked them up. Um, maybe if I do know a little bit of history, I'll let you know. Um, yeah, I got to make this video a little bit quicker than I thought. I got to pick my kids up at school. Um, it's a half a day today, so I got to pick them up at 1. And they have some friends coming, so I got to make sure that I'm there by 1. And I do have some items to ship, so I'm very strapped for time. So here we go. All right, so first um, we're going to talk about what I spent. I did spend, um, I did spend an initial hundred, initial hundred dollars, and then I spent, I did buy some clothes, and I believe that was a donation as well. And the don, it was ten dollars for some of the clothing, and then the rest was donation. So I did a fifteen dollar donation. So that was twenty five there. Then I think I gave her an extra ten dollars as well, along with the hundred. So we're looking at hundred and thirty five dollars total with all of this stuff. So first we got the unicycle. I gotta pump the tires up. I don't. It's not a crazy brand. If you can find Schwinn, you're good to go. Um, these bats, I only paid two dollars a piece. Make sure you're looking for cracks. Um, some of the sectional bats do very well. Here's a Nike Keystone. This is only like a $25 bat um, shipped, actually. So even if I only get $10 a bat, we're looking at 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, like 11, right? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 bats. So, I mean, that's $120 right there in profit, even if I only get $10 per bat. And I spent 20 bucks on all, I spent $24 on all the bats. Um, this stuff right here, the Sony Cybershot, I believe he did say that this doesn't work. This is the second one that I went to. It's got brand new batteries in it. It's in here, but he said it's not working. And today must be a, a big bend day because I keep finding these clocks. This one's got a little bit of discoloration. I think I can get that off with goo gone. Um, and there's some bow stuff in here as long as well as some patches. I figured that these are, um, these are, it says Maryland Safe Hunter. So I don't know if these are still valid today. If they are, I should be able to sell these for at least five dollars a patch. It was a dollar for the whole bag. Then we have these Kellogg's um, bowls. I'm pretty sure. They might have had more, like that's Fruit Loops, that's Frosted Flakes. They they might have had more, so there there may be like four or more in the set. Then we picked up these cards. This was a decent um, pickup. I spent three dollars on all of them. These are cool. These Babe Ruth. I'm pretty sure I can sell um, these older ones. These are like the big cards. And then there's just some little bit here and there thrown in. Um, I got a bunch of stuff at this yard sale. I think I spent a total of fifty dollars. I spent $50 total there. I think that's what it was. So we got some records. We got the Mummers Parade. I was talking about how my grandfather and my father played in that parade. Um, I never heard of this, the Barefoot Toes, but this is a brand new sealed album, so I grabbed it. All the albums were 50 cents. I did not know. I know Richard Simmons does a lot. He did a lot of things, so I'm guessing he did albums as well. The reason why I grabbed these, these records, not because of the kind of records, but because of the condition. So we have the Rick Springfield. I listen to him all the time on Sirius Satellite. Then we have Elvis Sings Christmas, which is definitely going to sell now. We have the Disney Merry Christmas Carols. Like I said, all of these were in great condition. We have the Great Pumpkin Charlie Brown. That's definitely going to sell. Um, and then we got... Oh, don't want to drop stuff. Let me move some things out of the way real quick so that we don't make a giant mess. So let's just put... 
trying not to make a mess, guys. Sorry, but there's there's so much stuff. Um, and then in here is just like little ins and outs. There's an old vintage game. Um, the game is called Flinch. Um, I'm guessing it's complete. It was only a dollar, so I grabbed that up. Then we have these old books. I think these were like, I don't know. I think I think it was five for all of them. Superstars. So we have basketball. We have football. Um, another one that's football. Baseball. So these are just whatever. Just a bunch. And then we have all of these Phillies yearbooks. Um, I think some of them are from the 80s, but the condition that they're in is just really good. And I think there's like a couple other things. There's these two things on the bottom. Let me see. This one is Mike Schmidt night and steve carlton night i'm not even sure i don't even know what these are they're just like like books i i i don't know what that's for i, I don't know what they are but you know it is what it is then we're going to get into this um at first when i looked at it it was on the other side like this and it's a painting so i turned it around and i seen the schmidt and i went oh schmidt's of philadelphia Somebody's going to want to buy it. Somebody's going to want to um, want that for their collection. So they're not going to be concerned what's on the other side because it's probably just going to hang, you know, either in their man cave or what have you. Um, then I seen this foot joy. It definitely needs to be cleaned up. I'm pretty sure I can probably get that off of there. I'm hoping that that's going to come out that that's only dirt. So if I get this cleaned up really nice, I think I can get a decent amount for this. It doesn't have a mirror on it, so it's not like one of those ones where you put the shoes on and you can you can see um, your feet in the mirror, but it is still really cool, and I just couldn't leave it. I, I couldn't let that sit there, so I had to take that home. Then we have just some basic clothing. I'm not really going to get into the clothing. Some of them are my daughter's size. Like We got a bunch of Victoria's Secret. Um, I only spent 25 total at this booth so I did get um this is like a fake leather jacket like a pleather and then there was some Brooks Brothers there's brand new Brooks Brothers boxers um and then there is some Brooks Brothers pants these are just like I don't think they're twill but they're just um they're just like khakis but they're brand new Brooks Brothers I, I know I can get at least $25 a pair for those um I didn't look this up it's just a pinata it's the baby um What's his face? Baby Yoda. So, I like I said, I don't know what that's going to go for. And then I've seen these cups, and I've seen, i definitely seen some, some value here. There's one, two, three. There's a bunch of them. There's one, two, three, four, five. There's six of those, and then there's three of the Yoda. And then, so that's six, seven, eight, nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. So, I believe that all of the cups are there. There were more cups, but somebody said that someone took them, the cups that had the lids like this, but I think that they were mistaken. I think they were talking about me, I because I didn't see any more of those cups when I came in, but I was kind of fixated in a certain area. Then we have these old school, um, these are, what are they called? They're sun catchers. So we have one Easter, and then we have a bunch of Christmas ones. We got Santa, we got the wreath, we got another Santa, a tree, we got the snowman, so they can just all go together. Um, these are probably vintage dollar store, I'm thinking. They are, what are they called? Christmas accents. I don't know. So I'm thinking they're from the dollar store. Then we have this vintage cookie cutter. It's just like a one, one thing and boom and you're done. So I don't know if that's worth anything. I got these, this, this is for people that like to do crafts. Um, they put, they go inside your shirt. They light the shirts up. Um, so I don't know. This one's actually coming out. So that one has to be put back into the... So I don't know if these are going to work or not, but um, they should. I don't think they should have a problem. And then I see these were actually in a box. Did I grab these? No, I grabbed these because these are the things that go inside your um, your decoration, your home decor, um, like your little um, your little houses and things that light up. You just put the light in. And I just bought bulbs for them too because I, I figured I would need them. It's Christmas time. Then we're going to get down to the big the big baby right here. As soon as I seen this bottle, I knew I knew immediately what it was. This is Chloe perfume. This sells new. I think this is vintage. This sells new for about one seventy five. So I believe I can get at least a hundred dollars for this bottle. It is just about full, maybe ninety percent, eighty five if that. But it's a mostly full bottle of Chloe. Anytime you guys see this vintage cologne and perfume, make sure you guys are picking it up. But do your research. Make sure you're picking the right stuff up these i don't know i didn't research these i don't know what these are but um i just grabbed them then we have the german luger 
Um, you can't sell these online unless you have the orange cap on them. So I'm not sure what I'm going to do with that, but I do know that it is a vintage cap gun and it does work if you pull the piece. Let's see. I'll pull it back. Hold on, guys. It does work. So there. It does work. Um, and then we have this vintage pain oil. I see a lot of this brand online, but empty bottles. So this is a full bottle. It's sealed. This was never opened. Um, I just thought that was really cool. Someone would definitely want that for like any conversation piece, whatever. Um, so this is a Tiger Transformer. It's like a little game. These don't sell for much. I, I just, I seen it and I, I saw a little bit of value. So I grabbed that. Then we have a chainsaw link. Um, um, chainsaw chain and I believe that this is um, when it's like iridescent like that so I don't think it's real though because it looks like you can see through the glass and I don't think it's all the way through the glass but it is still a cool piece I believe this is called hobnail like that and these are like creamer sugar whatever you want to call them um, creamer um, gravy what you know syrup whatever um, I don't know if this is missing anything, if that's supposed to be like that, but um, some people use these for sugar. It depends on whatever you want to put in them, but I figure for the pair, you know, probably like 25 bucks for that pair. Then we have the Hawaii Money Guide. This is the the god of money, so we're going to have to hold on to him, so he's staying He's staying here because we definitely need him. Then we have this Ford mug I just grabbed. And I grabbed this towards the end, the Miller High Life. This is a big glass. So these usually do really well, um, like $10 or $15. And this is just some Avon cologne that I didn't really get a chance to look up. Um, nativity scenes are awesome. I just sold a set for like $20, $25. That one is a nice little crystal set. Of course, we had to grab the spider. We got the vintage night light, some shoe goo. That's for me. I I'm, I'm, I'm definitely can use that. Um, then we have these little like Confederate. I don't know because you can't really put that flag up. They will take your listing down. Um, I might be able to sell these and maybe just kind of cover up the flag. I don't know how I'm going to do that yet. But these are, I think that the guys are metal and this is metal, the stand. But I think the horse is like rubber. So, But this is definitely like a type of set. Someone would definitely buy this. So they they all go together. So that is like a little set. Um, that's more Avon cologne. This is like a deck of cards. I'm not really sure what that is. I don't know if I'm keeping these. These are vintage rubber bands. I did test one rubber band. I took it out and pulled. It didn't break. Check out that vintage legs. Um, queen size regular pantyhose. So this was $1.49. This is really cool. If it has a date on it, that would be neat. So I don't know if that's even worth anything. I just grabbed it. Um, then this, I can't remember. I know it's like a decanter and it also um, winds up. So really cool. I did pop the lid off, which a lot of times when you pull this, when you pull the lid off of these decanters that the, um, the cork breaks. So you got to be careful when you're doing that. That I don't know what the hell that is. We'll figure that out later. Tacoma, I guess, is, I don't know, is that, doesn't have a name on it, but it is broken though. It is kind of broke. So I seen it and I was like, you know what? That's pretty cool. It looks like a really old bobblehead. I don't know whose bike that is. I don't know if that's Batman. I, I don't know. Spider-Man, whatever. I don't know what that is. I can't remember what these were made by. These are... Who are these made by? The reason why I grabbed them. Hand-painted ceramic ceramic teapot. I swear it says it somewhere on here. I can't remember who these are made by, but that's the reason why I grabbed them. There's three of them. I'm obviously going to lot them together. Found a blank cassette tape. I'm definitely going to put that. Um, this, is, this is made by Rooster, this leather belt. It's probably like a gun holster belt or something like some type of hunting or... Um, <clears throat> something like that. Then we have all of these figures in here. This is real heavy. Uh, I'm guessing these are, these are definitely lead. Oh yeah, these are lead. I don't know what these are. I got to look these up and see what the heck they are. They are stamped. So we'll see what these are. I'm, I'm get, I can guarantee that these are probably, oh, you know what? This might be like some Dungeons and Dragon type stuff. This stuff does really well. Yeah, I think that's what this is. I think this is the type. Look, there's a crystal in there. Yeah, I think we might have hit the little jackpot with this. There's a snake. Yeah, we're going to have to look this stuff up. This looks like some Dungeons and Dragons, like some really old. There might be some money there. I'll have to look that stuff up, guys, and I'll let you. I'll keep you posted. 
Then we got a little an old wallet. At first I thought it was Nike, but it's not. It just has like a check on it. Um, this is gold filled. Be on the lookout for these old watches. This is definitely gold filled. There's a lot of gold in it. Gold filled is like when there's way more gold in something than a than a played plated item so that's really cool then we got another little bottle of perfume i didn't look that one up i can't remember who that was made by then we just have like little ins and outs toys this one looked interesting so i grabbed it there was somebody there that was going through the cars and stuff but he wasn't looking for like um any anything of value he's looking for st stuff for his grandson so i kind of went behind him after he was finished and i was just like looking for things this is pretty cool i think it says chevy on there i don't know what that is we'll look that up and this is just a really a really beautiful plastic um 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 crucifix so you know i had to grab that who are these made by these are these are k collection not very desirable but it is what it is um so i grabbed them i can't remember what these are I was just talking to a lady at one of the last yard sales about these types of items where the clothing comes on and off like it's where they snap together. I can't remember what they're called, but there was two of them, so I just grabbed them. This is obviously some Star Wars stuff. Um, a lot of this stuff here, let me see if I can, we're kind of zoomed. Yeah, let me zoom back out. Um, these things are Power Rangers. These are not really worth much. I forget what that thing is called. I'm not sure if that's Power Rangers or not. This is Spawn. That's a Spawn creature. We have a little bit of, you know, just a bunch of little things sitting in here. Little tink tinker totters. There's some jumping beans. Um, just, just stupid stuff. Like, there's little ninjas. You get them out of the machine. Like, little, the little ninja guy. He's like, whoa. So, there's the ninja turtle. Hockey player. He's not worth much. I did look him up. He's not really worth anything. We got some G.I. Joes. I didn't look that one up. Of course, that one's a Cobra. He's a little dirty. Like, this stuff, I have to clean it. Then check out the Furbies, guys. There's the big one. Um, I'm going to definitely test all of them. That one's really cool. Look at the colors on that one. Um, this one is actually not a... This one's not a plush. This one is a plush. This one's like a McDonald's one. But, like, we have all of the colors. Some of their eyebrows are missing. They're not in perfect condition. They were really dirty. I cleaned them up a little bit for the most part. They're going to need maybe a little bit more additional cleaning. I don't know if I'm going to lot these together. I don't know if that big one is worth a ton. I'm not really sure. But he is a bigger one. So, I could imagine that he's worth a little bit more. Um, I can't remember what that's from either. That's, I thought it was cool looking. He's got like, you know, these toys, they, they do okay. They don't do that good. But then we have all of these little cars. We have a big troll. She, that one's worth about $15. It's Christmas one. So we'll see. There was some lunch boxes, but that was the only one that really caught my eye that was in, even in remotely good condition. It does look old. If you look at the picture on it, it looks like it's probably like from the 60s. This, I don't know if this is brass or not. It's made in China and not really sure what the deal is with that. And then some of these dinosaurs were just like nasty looking. Like this one's just like, check him out. He's just crazy looking. So I figured I'd grab them. I'll look them up later. We'll see if they have any type of value. Um, since this was like a donation type of deal, um, I'm definitely going to make money with what you see here. This is like a barometer, whatever this is. Um, I did look it up. I think there's one listed for about $70. It's definitely, I think this is antique maybe. It might be 100 years old. I'm not sure. I think, I don't think so though. I think this is from like the 50s or 60s, something like that. Then we got the Jim Bean Black. We got the old, um, the old flask. We'll definitely do well with that because it has a good brand on it. It is leather. Um, who's it made by? It probably just says stainless steel. Yeah, stainless steel made in China. Nothing, you know. No big deal. Let's put the lid back on. Then we have this. Um, this is an old. It does work though. So we'll turn it on. It definitely works. It's not going to work on there. But there you go. But it definitely works. It's just like a train. Here's all the pieces inside. There's the rest of it in there. Then we have a bunch of just like jewelry and stuff that I have to go through. I didn't want to take all of the jewelry because I did, I, a lot of it I know is junk. There's some more here, like some watches, more things that I need to go through. Um, this this one is broken. This one is just like a um, portable um, 
clock for like when you go to like a hotel or something, you take that with you. Here's another one. This one is, that one's a West clock. These I usually get about $15 or $20 for. Then these I got to look up. There's just like a ton of these. I, I'm not sure. I think that one's a Big Ben. Um, you, you can always tell the Big Ben. See the way that one's shaped. Um, this one, I have no idea what, like, I don't know what a lot of these are worth. They're, this one is a king. I see, I don't, I don't even know. I have to do research, but I just hit the jackpot with these clocks. This I tested. Um, if you look, this is one of those ones that plugs in. It's definitely going to need cleaned. It's got bulbs in it. It lights up. It's just really cool. I did plug it in, but I don't think that any of the lights that are on it are any good. I think they're just, they're probably all blown out. She's missing her broom. She's supposed to have a broomstick and a bat or something. I may just take her home. She does work. She can just like sit on something. I, I, we don't have to put the batteries in her. She doesn't really make a, a bunch of noise. Then I seen these big Santas and I was like, I got to grab them. Those down there work. I got to change the lights that are in there. Um, they, they're holding like... Um, like candles that are supposed to light up and they don't light up. And the Dancing Santa does not work. Dancing Santa is broken. All right, guys. So there you have it. One more thing. Check her out. She is just like really, really cool. I, I couldn't walk out the door without taking her with me. What can, you know, what can I say? I'm a sucker for a brunette. So, you know, really cool. Even the guitar. Look, even the guitar has strings. I don't know. It says made in somewhere on the bottom. It has like a, a like a foot stand. Sorry, honey. We got to, you know, take a peek. But she has like a stand underneath of her and it it says made in so it could be Spain, it could be I, I don't know. But um I know it's like a Spaniard. It's um it's a, I think it's called a a, a chi what's it called? Oh, I can't remember. It's some type of doll that um I'm just going to do a little bit more research. It's definitely something that somebody is going to want as soon as they see it. It's really big. It's going to definitely be a little complicated to ship. Not too bad. I'll probably get a big box, put some padding around her, and she should be fine. Anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. I tried to show you as much as I could. I didn't want to get into the clothing. Um, I didn't want the video to be super long, but I got to go. So thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Smash that thumbs up button. Hit that notification bell down below to get notified when I post another video. It helps me out with the YouTube channel. Awesome. Peace out. Slide, catch them on the blind side. Make the day turn to nighttime.